Now, your WCBX Pinpoint Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. It was a freezing cold morning across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. The official low at Huntsville International was just 25 degrees. Coldest morning we've seen across the Tennessee Valley since February 22nd on that day. The low temperature at Huntsville International was 24 degrees. Of course, this cold air is on the heels of what proved to be a very snowy afternoon across different portions of the Tennessee Valley. And many of you texted me your weather photos specifically of the snow. And I wanted to highlight a couple of my favorites. This one from the Union Hill community right on top of Brindley Mountain. Thanks so much to Angela for texting me this weather photo. You can see the snow really nicely. They're accumulating on the grass. This one from Peyton in Arab. This was actually taken at a Sonic in Arab. My usual drink order is a strawberry slush with nerds. Beginning to think I need to pick a warmer drink order. And then we had this uh, this photo from Skyline. You can see the snow there accumulating on the grass. Thanks so much to Mickey for texting us that weather photo. And you can do the same. The number's right there on your screen, 256-382-2692. Of course, in true Tennessee Valley fashion, the snow really didn't stick around very long because our temperatures actually warmed above freezing this afternoon. Still well below average highs for this time of year. We only saw highs this afternoon in the low and mid 40s, a little warmer across northwest Alabama. 46 was the high in Florence. 43 was the high in Russellville, Huntsville International, Athens, Decatur, Arab, and Albertville. Scottsboro as well. All saw highs this afternoon of 41 degrees. Maybe the colder air comes at a rather opportune time since, of course, today is December 1st. And with the arrival of December comes the passing of the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season. And what a hurricane season it was. We saw a record 39 named storms of those 30 named storms 13 of them became hurricanes six of those 13 became major hurricanes that is a hurricane that is at least a category three and then of those 13 12 of them hit the United States of those 12 that hit the United States five of them hit the state of Louisiana this was also the first time since 2005 we had to use the Greek alphabet we're going to begin to warm up a little more across the Tennessee Valley thanks to a change in our weather pattern here's an area of low pressure across the Great Plains, Oklahoma and Texas on Wednesday allows our winds to become a little more southerly. This area of low pressure doesn't move much, but it does draw closer to the southeast as we head into Thursday. This kind of reinforces this new weather pattern, warms us up, but it also brings additional opportunities for rain to the Tennessee Valley. Best chance there is going to come Thursday and Friday. Temperatures are already beginning to fall this evening. Most of us sitting in the mid and upper 20s. That's about where we bottom out the mid 20s. I've got a low right around 20. Five degrees. It's going to be cold when the kids get on the school bus, but the sun's going to be shining right around 30. From there, it does look like we warm up. We'll finish the day right around 50 degrees. Have a good look at the next seven days. Like I said, our next opportunities for rain come Thursday and Friday. Temperatures in the lower 50s. The weekend looks fantastic. 53 is the warmest day of the next seven. Connor. I am glad it's getting a little warmer. Warm, of course, being a very relative term since we're still considerably below average. Yes, definitely. Well, here's a look.